I'm a cell biologist, and this is my research. I'd like to know which cells are expressing my messenger RNA and how many copies are in each cell. I've shown upregulation using qPCR, which unfortunately destroyed all of that sample. Staining with antibodies confirmed a heterogeneous cell population, but the results are only semi-quantitative and, anyway, I'm interested in direct RNA detection. Stellaris Fish lets me effortlessly detect, localize, and quantify RNAs I'm interested in. And I'll finally have some compelling images to help with continued funding. Stellaris Fish technology is a messenger RNA detection method that allows simultaneous detection, localization, and quantification of individual RNA molecules at the cellular level in a fixed sample. After fixation, Stellaris Fish probes are added to the sample where they collectively hybridize along the targeted RNA. The combined fluorescence of the hybridized probes can be clearly seen above background. Even in old samples with partially degraded RNA, a sufficient fraction of probes will still bind to targeted transcripts. After incubation, the wash step removes excess probes and the sample is ready for imaging. Each individual transcript is observed as a discrete spot, like a bright star in the night sky, by using standard fluorescence microscopy. Unlike other in situ technologies, Stellaris Fish is simpler. It has an easy protocol and no exotic reagents. It is faster. One can achieve same-day results. It is also more sensitive with a set of up to 48 probes. And lastly, Stellaris Fish is less expensive. One of the primary benefits of Stellaris technology is being able to visualize both the messenger RNA in the cytoplasm as well as the active sites of transcription in the nucleus. And unlike other commercially available RNA hybridization technologies, Solaris Fish does not rely on artificially amplified signal. Solaris probes directly quantify messenger RNA, providing more confidence in one result. One of the potential applications of Solaris Fish is drug screening. Visualizing up and down regulation of gene expression allows for the rapid and robust approach to screening drugs and cells. Furthermore, one can use Stellaris fish probes to potentially identify biomarkers in cancer tissue. Stellaris fish probes can look at the messenger RNA of a specific target gene and see if it correlates with cancer genesis or progression. And lastly, Stellaris fish can replace northern blotting, which is a data technique which merely gives semi-quantitative measurements of messenger RNA levels. Stellaris fish can be combined with existing technologies. For example, Stellaris fish can be combined with immunohistochemistry, whether colorimetric or fluorescent. Solaris fish can also be combined with Western blotting, allowing one to look at gene regulation at both the RNA and protein level. And if one chose to, one can use Solaris fish probes with qPCR. So after interrogation with Solaris fish probes, one can use qPCR to confirm altered gene expression. From fixation to imaging, it just takes a few hours to get the solid results I need for a publication.